they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall fire you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be seen glad, for great is we for your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they, which are the prophets, which are before you. Matthew 5, 5 to 12. Thank you so much, Shanna, for those verses. It's always nice to see young people memorizing verses, and I don't think it should be only young people that had the word of God in their heart. It should be all of us, no matter how old we are. So um, our next item is going to be a presentation by Rhoda about spreading happiness. So this weekend, the, the 
uh, the theme of the conference is on happiness, right? So it's nice when we're happy. It's, it's, you feel good, you sleep better, you don't have trouble falling asleep, you enjoy life, right? But does happiness have any benefits on our health? What do you think? I think the answer should be pretty simple. I work as a nurse practitioner, and when I have patients that are coming in and they're depressed, and they want to talk to me about their depression, their anxiety, you think they're just smiling from ear to ear? Are they just beaming? No. They're, da- oh, they're, they're just down, they're gloomy. Sometimes they don't make eye contact with you for 10 minutes because they're not happy. So uh, let's see what, what um, some small benefits of, of happiness on our health. In the Bible, it says in Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10, Nehemiah is telling the Israelites, Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto the Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. And Nehemiah is telling the Israelite people here that when you have the joy of the Lord, you're going to be strong. You're going to be strong um, emotionally, but also scientific research has shown us that you're going to be strong physically. And not only physically, externally, well, maybe not externally, you have to go to the gym for that, or work hard, but uh, inside your body, your body, your organs are going to be strong. Harvard University shows that positive emotions have been linked with better health, longer life, greater well-being in numerous scientific studies. Better health, longer life, and greater well-being. Those are some things that we all want, right? Now, um, a study looked at the length that people live compared to how happy they are. So very, very happy people, how long do you think they live? The longest? Yeah, very happy people are living the longest. Now, people who are pretty happy, the people who are pretty happy live 6% shorter than the people who are very happy. So even being so, so happy is not good enough. You have to be very happy. Now, how about the people who weren't happy at all? The risk of death for the people that were not happy at all was 14% higher than the people that were very happy. So that shows us if we want to live long, if we want to live healthy, we've got to be very happy. Happiness, um, having emotional vi- uh, viability, enthusiasm, optimism, a good support group, being able to bounce back from di- difficult situations and avoiding um, risky behaviors. All of these things have been linked with They've been linked with avoiding diseases such as heart attacks, strokes, diabetes, and depression. And the Bible actually says that. Long before research found that, the Bible said that, right? In um, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22, it says a verse that we're all familiar with. A merry heart doeth what? Good like a medicine. So if you want to have, instead of going to the doctor for, well, maybe if you really need it, go for the medicine. But instead of going to the doctor for diabetes medicine or blood pressure medicine or depression medicine, what does it say here in the Bible? A merry heart. It's good like a medicine. So may the Lord help us to have a merry heart and to be happy. But do you know how we can truly be happy? We learned earlier this morning that the only true happiness comes from above. The only true happiness comes from God. So may God help us to have that personal connection with Him each and every day. Amen. Amen. Amen.